Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick video review of the newest beta version of the Opera software internet browser, which is Opera 12. It's got quite a few new features, the most notable of which is experimental hardware acceleration. And if any of you have actually seen my previous video which in which I compare Opera 13, sorry, Opera 12 with uh, Firefox 13 and Chrome 19, if I enable uh, hardware acceleration, Opera actually goes to the front of the pack for rendering and stuff like that. So it does actually make a really big difference when you do things like um, rendering or password acceleration. So what I'll do, I'll go through a few of the, feature, the new features of Opera 12, but firstly I'll just compare um, Opera 11.62, which is the newest version of, the newest stable version of Opera, versus the beta version, which is Opera 12, on HTML5. Now HTML5 is an important test because uh, it shows HTML5 is going to be the new like web standard in that uh, it's going to be uh, replacing Flash, which is basically what most websites use now. Uh, but HTML5 is what most websites are going to change to. So a higher score on this means your browser is basically more future-proof. So if we go, the one on the right, by the way, is the stable version of 11.62. The stable version gets 338 and 9 bonus points, but the Opera 12, higher is better, remember, gets 385 and 9 bonus points. So you can see that you know there's like a 40, 40, uh, 50 point uh, gap between the two. In that you know Opera 12 is much better. So what I'll do, I'll minimise this because we'll use this later for one thing. And I'll go through a few of the new features. Now the first one is hardware acceleration. Now it's quite annoying because Opera actually turned this off um, uh, for default. Basically, if you t uh, install it, the first thing you have to do if you want to use hardware acceleration is turn it on. And what you have to do to turn it on, you have to type in Opera colon config and you go down, it's basically a huge list of all the things you can change in the Opera browser you go down to user prefs which is right at the bottom, it's this one here click on it, it's a massive list it's quite. It's just easy just to type in enable h so you can just search for it quickly and you can see naught, that basically means it's off, it's not on and you want it on uh, first of all, but what we'll do we'll show you what it, uh, hardware acceleration is like when uh, hardware acceleration is off, we'll show you how well it renders. So if you go on password acceleration you can see it's not bad, you know it's, well, it's it's much slower than it should be, it's going maybe, five, oh he says it now, look, five, six frames per second which is pretty terrible because if you remember from my previous video uh, Chrome and Firefox were both getting either high 50s or bang on 60 frames per second and Chrome without hardware acceleration, so basically this is what the standard version of uh, Opera 11.62 would get, which is six frames per second, which is you know terrible. That's not good enough. But if we then exit out of that, if we then enable hardware acceleration. So you press up, so it goes to one. Then you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and press save. Uh, press OK. It says here some changes may require a restart, and to save the changes for hardware acceleration, you do need to have a restart. So we'll exit out of it then put it back on, we'll then go back onto the uh, part acceleration test, remember before it got roughly 6-7 frames a second, it was really juddery and really crap basically, we click on it now, and look at that, it's perfect, 60 frames per second, and the callback efficiency for Firefox and Chrome was in the 80-90 to 90 range, and if you lo leave this long enough, it'll get up to like 99.9%, .9%. I mean it's getting there now, it's going up and up and up, and so you know you can see it's definitely made a, a huge improvement in heart in uh, rendering. And for example, if we go back onto uh, what's it called? Back back to the t uh, test drive, sorry. And we use the uh, fishbowl. Last time, Chrome got 30 frames per second, I believe, on on a thousand fish, and Firefox got thir uh, 37. And this got like naught. It's basically it wouldn't even render uh, 10 fish let us know a thousand and I mean this is 10 and you can see already 6 frames a second you know it's perfect now obviously it's gonna take a bit of a hit now when I go to a thousand but remember Chrome got 30 and Firefox got 37 and with uh, hardware acceleration enabled uh, Opera 12 is getting roughly 44 45 frames per second which is an amazing improvement I mean it's going down a bit now 42 but I mean Firefox gets 37 and Chrome gets 30, so it's you know it's an improvement on both of those, and it's a huge improvement over the stable version of Opera, which gets zero frames per second. 
So the next thing we'll uh, show you, if I just go on, for example, the BBC, and it's, it's, it's only a simple thing, but I think it will be important for some people. If I just compare them both. Now, if I wanted to, for example, zoom in on a headline, because it's too small, uh, I press Control and then use my mouse wheel, otherwise you can press Control and Plus. So you zoom in, but you never know how much you've zoomed in by. But if you do it on this one, on the Opera 12, the new new version, the beta, you zoom in, looks exactly the same of course, but if you look at the bottom right hand corner here, this is the zoom level, you can see it's actually absent on Opera Stable, but here it's not, you know, it's not absent. So if you zoom in you can say, oh look, you know, I've zoomed in quite a lot, I've still got a bit of room to zoom out kind of thing, or zoom in a bit more. So it tells you, you know, when you get to the maximum, which is there, then you can zoom, you know, out and basically it just, you know, it's a bit easier just to tell how much zoom you've got, so that's another uh, important uh, new improvement. Uh, the other one is, I can't really show you it, but basically if you have any plugins, like extensions for example on uh, Firefox, that's the equivalent term, on Opera Next they're now out of process, which means that for example quite a few of these plugins are a bit experimental, you know, they need to work on them a bit more, so they might crash quite a lot, and on Opera 11.62 if it crashed, it'll probably crash the entire browser, which obviously is a bit, a bit annoying if you've got loads of tabs open. But since they're now out of process on Opera 12, or Opera Next, it means that um, it's more stable. The actual browser itself is more stable if the plugin uh, misbehaves or crashes for some reason. So that's another good feature. And another one, which again I can't show you because I only write in English. But if you are either, you know, bilingual or whatever like that, and you speak either a right-to-left language, uh, sorry, the, the script is right-to-left, for example, Hindi, Arabic, uh, anything like that. Um, it's now got better support for you, so I think before it crashed quite a lot if you tried to you know, read or go on a right to left website, so now it's uh, much more improved. So the final thing, if I show you it doesn't work on Opera Stable, if you type in Opera code on CPU, you know, it's not, nothing happens, but so it's, a, it's a new feature with Opera 12, if you type in Opera CPU on here, it tells you, um, you know, your processes and how much uh, um, how many, uh, how much percentage of the CPU it's using? So, for example, a couple of seconds, uh, you know, a minute ago, roughly 120 seconds ago, it was running at four uh, percent or more than that because it's gone down now. But it was running higher than it is now, just because I was using, I was running that uh, part acceleration test. So, for example, you can tell maybe if one of your tabs, if I open multiple tabs, for example, YouTube. You can see that uh, it actually opens the tabs, and you know, for example, YouTube with all its pictures and ads and stuff, it's uh, using three percent of uh, the CPU compared with BBC, which is only using zero percent. And obviously, it got, you know, the further back in seconds it goes, it moves back again. So you can tell, for example, if one tab is using loads of memory compared to another one. So yeah, that's the review of Opera uh, 12. It's a really good improvement. Um, I said so in my browser wars. What I'll do now, I'll do a very quick test with Firefox 13, um, because last time Firefox did win, but it, it was much closer between the two. Um, I've got rid of all the extensions and stuff, for example, Adblock. So you know these are completely vanilla. Uh, I've obviously I've gone on uh, BBC. So what I'll do, I'll just delete the history very quickly. Delete, delete. So you know there's no history here. And I'll restart it just in case any of you naysayers say <laughs> the uh, cache is still there. And um, what I'll do, I'll go on some website that, that I haven't used just in case. So, for example, I'll go on Dabs first. And oh, no, I've used Dabs. Uh, if I go on to IGN, because I know that's got lots of pictures, and IGN on here, I'll do Opera first, Opera 12 versus Firefox 13. Let's see which one loads first. Ooh, it's close. Still loading. That was actually very close. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly who won that one. I'll, I'll zoom this one out a bit so it looks roughly the same. I think. I. Uh, I'm not sure. I think Firefox probably slightly beat uh, beats it, but it's very close. So if you do another one, if we do um, scan, which is like a a part supplier for PCs, we'll do Firefox first. Well, that was easily Opera. Opera definitely won that one. 
and um, we'll do. I'm trying to think of websites that I don't usually go on, so the history doesn't uh, get ruined. If you go on Gap Year, because I'm looking at a magazine right now, Gap Year. We'll do Opera first, Opera 12. Oh, it's still loading. Oh, I think Firefox probably loaded most of the text first, but Opera. I'll do Opera first. Oh well, that was definitely Opera, although Firefox probably loaded everything all in one go, Opera did finish loading first. So yeah, uh, sorry about the longish video, um, I think Opera's definitely improved on the hardware acceleration side, definitely improved on the compatibility, and it seems to be um, as fast as most of the time, Firefox, which is a good improvement because usually it's thought of as quite a slow browser, not, not um, compared to maybe other browsers, but just... I know sometimes you know you think maybe it's not as compatible, but it's definitely improved in that sense. So yeah, it's a really good browser, definite, definitely good improvement. And I would recommend downloading the beta if you really want to.